Could this be a vision of our future? <laughs> This is what it's like living in the worst air pollution in the world. Cities growing unchecked. Filthy air. The silent effect of climate change. Is this toxic cocktail pushing our civilization to its limits? It's morning in Ulaanbaatar and people are going to work, getting ready to go to school. And I can smell the pollution, it's so thick. You can even taste it. I've got a pollution monitor here and it's measuring PM 2.5 which is these tiny particles that get deep into your lungs, that's why they're so dangerous. And a minute ago it was at 999, that's as high as this monitor will go. Safe levels are supposedly anything under 25. So how on earth did it get this bad? To figure that out, we've come here to the pristine air of the Mongolian steppe and a very different way of life. Erkan Bayer and his brother should be the next in a long line of nomadic herders. <laughs> Despite their clear mastery of animal handling, they may not have a chance. It's getting harder and harder to live out here. This year, there's no snow. Last year, it was the opposite. They lost all of their horses, 20 of them, and over 30 sheep. The reason why life is getting so difficult for herders here on the steppe is because the weather has been really messed up over the past few years. They had two really dry summers followed by extremely cold winters so animals didn't eat enough during the summer to last them and they were weak and couldn't survive the winter. But this year has been completely different. The summer was really wet, there was a lot of flooding and the winter has been incredibly dry. This grassland should be completely covered in snow and the snow actually protects the grass. Right now, these animals are just chewing up everything they can and people are worried that by the time spring comes, all the grass will be gone. And that's because the climate here is changing in weird and unpredictable ways. Do you think you'll be able to stay here in the countryside? <laughs> Chamin Monk wants to find work as a chef in the city, along with tens of thousands of others who are leaving the countryside every year. Climate scientists say Mongolia has already warmed by 2.2 degrees. The fact that it's landlocked and its high altitude mean it's much more vulnerable to temperature changes. Half the population of Mongolia now live here in the capital, and most of them are burning raw coal. It's the cheapest way to keep warm when temperatures get as low as minus 25. But it's choking the city and hurting its smallest residents. Iridni is only five months old, but he's already been hospitalized six times. Lurin tiga tinggal, lurang hamperin tak cuma tersinggat, 
хөх 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 чинь өөдийн хөх шинж тэмдэгт ирлээ. Тэгэл юм шууд очтой доо яардаг гэсэн үг дээр. So do you think that this is caused by the pollution in your area? Ти юм жирэмсэн болоод нөгөө тэг хугацаанда яг ингэ нөгөө агаарын бохирдлоос болоод утаатай орчинд байсаар аваад ингэ дагтлаа мутай ч гэх юм уу уушин уушхандаа ийм ютэ бөрөн хиттэй ийм хүүд гарсан гэж бодож байгаа. Outside the hospital, PM2.5 levels are off the scale again. Every day here, doctors see hundreds of children who are struggling to breathe. Dr. Ganchul and Zundi has no doubt that it's linked to the pollution. Хамгийн нийт нь 260 даал байдаг гэсэн бол энэ жил одоо 300 хүртэл нэмэгдэж байна. Тэгэхээр энэ мэн одоо амьсгийн замын халдвар явуулмаас ихтэй чимтүүлж байгаа бол өөрөө жоох хүүхдийн та жил ирэх тусам нэмэгдэж байна гэсэн дүр зэрэг харагдаж байна л та. It must be difficult when you help a, a child to get better and then you know that they're going back into the pollution to get sick again. Замалгүй яг би ч гэсэн өөрөө одоо их хүн одоо надад ч гэсэн өөр хүүхэд байгаа. Өөр хүүхдэд юм яа ч гэсэн хайдлахын хүүхд нь тэгэхээр ингээд бид биднэрийн зүгээс ингээд одоо ингээд хичнээ ингээд имсээд ингээд гаргаж байгаа ч гэсэн хүүхдүүд маань ингээд дахин дахин ингээд өвдөж байгаа нь гэж энэ сэтгэлийг маш их хэмжилт her biggest fear is that in the long term, toxic air could lead to an epidemic of lung cancer. The city has ambitious plans to ban raw coal. They want to force people to use cleaner, processed coal. But processed coal is expensive. Is it on? It's on. So it's dropping, right? Wow, it's going down fast. Mm, it's surprising how little is being done to stop air pollution in Ulaanbaatar. But one startup is working to make air filters more affordable. So if we leave it on for like 20 minutes, then this room will be uh, cleaner. <laughs> wow, not enough people have these, right? Yeah, actually most air purifiers cost a lot. So people can't really afford it, and also education purpose. They don't know how bad it is. Still, it's just a plaster on a gaping wound. This is extreme, almost apocalyptic. But the problems Ulaanbaatar is facing are being repeated all over the world. And unless we get a handle, on the types of fuel we use, rapid urbanization and climate change, this kind of pollution could become the disturbing norm. Oh.